Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Here to talk to you about the eeriness and the the alarming speed and the pace that Satan is infiltrating our society. It's really disheartening. It's 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 alarming. I mean, we really should be on high alert. But as Christians, we tend to take this uh, with a, a, a grain of salt. I don't know why. I, I don't get that. But we are watching the enemy totally infiltrate. Like, a, um, you know how in some countries you see locusts starting to gather and, oh my goodness, they're going through all their changes and metamorphosis and and they're ready to take over and devour at once. And people do what they can to prepare for it. But sometimes it seems like we, as Christians, are too caught up in our own agendas to even care. Well, I want you to hear this. Yeah, this stuff is happening right now mm -hmm. in your front yard and mine. The Satanic Temple, TST, has announced that this coming school year, 2016, will find their organization operating in elementary schools across the nation, where they will be offering their new after-school Satan Club program to students, while the presence of a religious organization in public schools will no doubt be shocking to some evangelical uh, litigants. Primary, primarily, the Child Evangelism Fellowship, CEF, represented by lawyers from the Liberty Council, have solidly established the legal rights of religious organizations to operate clubs in public schools. And I have a question before I go any further. That's two cents right here. Why do we not have an after-school Jesus Club program? Hello, will some of you be ready to do that? Now my, my outreach calling is prison ministry, but some of you who have no outreach calling yet, or you may not be aware of it, if this bothers you to the core, maybe that's what you should be doing. After school Jesus programs, hello, listen to this. According to the CEF website, the United States Supreme Court ruled that a public school which allows use of its facilities to secular groups may not discriminate against religious groups. And now that the CEF has established its Bible-based good news club across the nation, TST is eager to offer their own after-school clubs, which will focus upon critical reasoning, independent thinking, fun, and free thought. Hmm. Yeah. According to TST spokesperson Lucian Greaves, School districts across the nation are now receiving letters from the Satanic Temple explaining that we will be offering mm, our clubs in their schools this coming school year. And parents in those schools can expect to be presented with a permission slip from their children in the first weeks of the fall semester. Where are the permission slips for the Jesus clubs? For the Bible study clubs? For worship clubs? Okay, that's Pat's two cents. Let me get back to this literature right here. <clears throat> yeah, this is crazy. All of the districts we've approached are nearby to local chapters of the Satanic Temple. And each school district has hosted or is now hosting good news clubs in their school. 
This being the case, we are sure that the school districts we've approached are well aware that they are not at liberty to deny us use of their facilities. Does that sound like coercion or what? Nor are they at liberty to deny us any level of representation in the schools that they afford to other school clubs such as fillers, tables, brochures, and school-wide announcements. We would like to thank the Liberty Council specifically for opening the doors of public schools to the after-school Satan Club through their dedication to religious liberty. Elaborating, this is crazy, elaborating the mission of the after-school Satan Club, Grieve states, it's important that the children be given an opportunity to realize that the religious materials now creeping in to their schools are representative of but one religious opinion among many. While the Good News Club's focus in on indoctrination of children by way of evangelism, instilling them with a fear of hell and God's wrath after school Satan clubs will focus on free inquiry and rationalism the scientist basis excuse me the scientific basis for which we know what we know about the world around us we prefer to give children an appreciation of natural wonders surrounding them not a fear of evangel of ev of everlasting of the world horrors. For more information, see the After School Satan Club website, www.afterschoolsatan.com. Now, is that freaky or what? This is back to Pat's two cents. That ticks me off. I don't know how it makes you feel, but that ticks me off because as far as I'm concerned, we are sitting around, hallelujah, anyhow. Never, never let your problems get you down. Hallelujah, glory to God. Praise his holy name. Boy, did we have church today, didn't we? Pastor really preached. Oh, he got down. Yeah, so we're going out to dinner. What else are we going to do? Oh, yeah, the saints going to get together. We're going to have a nice time. Yeah. And in the meantime, Oh, did you see that outfit? Girl, that outfit is just stunning. You look beautiful. What are we going to do with the board meeting? Well, look, I'm not having this, this uh, praise and worship too secular now. We got to be careful of that. But in the meantime, while we're bickering, while we're celebrating, while we're doing the do with our church calisthenics, Satan is out there, full steam ahead, you guys. What are we doing sitting on our butts of satisfaction, baby? Sitting on our thrones of complacency, celebrating. Celebrating the fact that we ain't going to hell. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah! Right under our feet! Locust! Locust, they're getting ready! We see them! They're getting ready, baby. They're getting ready for an attack across the nation. Believe me, across the world. So, what do we do? And I, I ask you this, what are you doing? What are you doing with all your free time? Besides watching TV and your favorite programs and sports. Oh, don't forget the sports. What are we doing? Men, get up off your rusty dusties, please. Men of God, you're supposed to be mighty warriors of God. When was the last time you got together and prayed, sought the Lord, about a counterattack. We're in a warfare, you guys. This is not a picnic. 
This is spiritual warfare. We have him that's greater in us than that that's in the world. Think about this, you guys. When was the last time you went to the Board of Education and started anything to the glory of God, to the saving of souls, to the protection of children and their mindsets? When was the last time? You don't want to rock the boat, do you? Yeah, I know. You don't want to rock the boat. Well, let me tell you something, baby. That's all Jesus did. He rocked the boat. He rocked the boat so much that the very church he was representing, the very church he came to visit, booted his butt out, conspired with the enemy to destroy him, not realizing they were doing God's bidding undercover, not realizing God was using them as his pawns to bring a glorious thing to the world. But listen, what are you doing now? Get up, step up to the plate, pray, fast, whatever you have to do. Lay aside some of your activities and let's get busy about our father's business. Because guess what? Satan worshipers are definitely busy about their father's business. I'm done. That's your warning. That's all I can do is warn. I can warn my outreach is you too. My outreach soon again will be prison ministry. Everybody has their areas. But what are you doing? 